Right. Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Wednesday the 22nd of May. And I'm just laughing because I'm having a good old laugh here with my guides because they're laughing at me about the things that I said yesterday about um, the truth and what, where the truth might lead us and why we're afraid of connecting with the truth of our hearts because we see the truth as a bit, the heart as a bit of a killjoy and um, because the heart's always kind of echoing out the truth. Today, I really want to look at, okay, so if the heart is going to tell us the truth um, and we are afraid to see the truth, so we're skirting around the heart and sort of avoiding it. What would happen if we actually found a way to fall into the heart and feel its forgiveness and its omnipotence and its sense that I am everywhere. I am actually more than just a truth. I am a range of possibilities within which there isn't any judgment. So try me, try me out, because the mind is where all the judgments are. The mind will tell you, you should have done this, you should have done that, you made the wrong choice. The heart is just always saying the same thing. It's okay, whatever you do, it's okay. The opportunity to be happy is always here. You can always turn back, you can always change your mind, you can always do something different. So today I'm going to the unicorns because for me they are one of the ultimate symbols of purity. So we're going to choose that and I think I might choose another one from the fairy deck but let's see. Intuition, listen to your inner wisdom. Yep, that's another one that's sometimes tricky because your intuition is a bit, you kind of think of it as a bit of a killjoy sometimes because it's like my mind is telling me I have to do this because it makes sense because this this sense, this logic is based around some kind of survival mechanism or some kind of thing that seems based on practical sense but the heart and the intuition they don't seem to have any sense okay and that's the whole point. They were there at the very beginning before we had to make sense. We began to have to make sense because we began to have to learn how to survive. Because when we became removed from source, disconnected, we stopped being able to trust because everything was up for grabs, because source was no longer guiding us, or rather we were no longer able to feel, hear, understand and benefit from the guidance of source. And so we got into a place of panic, we developed a thinking brain, and we began to rely on that thinking brain as a way of making decisions and choices that would help us to get from one end of this linear existence to the other. So, now that we're reconnecting, we're choosing to reconnect with source, we are beginning to have to embrace the challenge of disregarding the sensible, survival, logical, logic-based thinking brain. So the sensible survivalist logical thinking brain. So what we need to do is to remember through connecting with source again and again and again, that actually there's no judgment, there's nothing to fear, the heart isn't a killjoy, the intuition isn't a killjoy, and the intuition isn't right either. The intuition is right right now. The intuition is for this moment. The intuition is about, okay, am I going left or am I right? going right? Whew, I'm going left, I don't know why, I'm not gonna think it through, I'm just gonna go. And so, Using your intuition to plan things in a way is a little bit of a paradox because you kind of won't know until you get there or you can feel out into the infinite and you can know. But remember, the infinite is constantly creative and constantly evolving and shifting and growing. So let's not try to predict. Today, as an exercise, let's decide something over the next 10 minutes or so totally from intuition or totally from the heart without giving the mind a chance to think it through. And let's let that be our test. This 10 minutes and then the next 10 minutes and then the next 10 minutes. Let's go through the day seeing whether we can keep connecting with our hearts and keep connecting with our intuition that way. And I'm going to choose another card because that was um, quite an in-depth lesson there. And I want to see what comes from healing with the fairies again because I'm enjoying playing with those now. So we've got laughter. <laughs> So that's a great way to play. So, okay, in other words, don't think it through, 
and not thinking it through means having fun with it, playing with it, having a laugh, going out, just flowing with it, dancing with it, playing with it, singing with it, whatever, get creative, get back into having some fun. And I'm really sorry if um, that feels unrealistic because I know some of you have come to me and said that, you know, things are quite challenging at the moment and I really do empathise, but try to remember what we said earlier, which is that things are always going to be challenging. Things are, you know, I'm sure we are all going through challenges. Don't ever be fooled into thinking that there is anyone who isn't going through challenges. So, and this is a part of the maturity of spirit understanding. It's to realise that things, circumstances, people will always be challenging. That's a part of our learning and our growth. It's what we do inside with all of that that makes us who we are and that creates the quality or lack of, lack thereof of our lives. Okay, so that's it for today, everyone. If you can, have a good laugh, trust your intuition and remember the opportunity to be happy. The choice to be happy is always here. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.